flexible. That dark cover is out. RB with the corner check does see a few. We'll hear the movement, the boom bot. Updraft up on top of the Raptors. Blind comes out, Glow presses forward out of the smoke. Manages to find Han. And Zest peeking from the back site. Upstick down, XPP. Stacks will get dropped. And Zest finds another kill. But the spike has been cut off. Have one at ropes at the moment. Catch him when he tries to retreat into B main. Zest comes around the corner. Looking for the right click, doesn't get the hit. Retreat comes in from Jim Bungi, gets himself over onto the Heaven Raptors here, on the vents rather. Heal will go out just to get the top up onto RB. As there's the finish, RB finding one, finding two. The defuse will come in and Vision Strikers with a rare pistol round win. Yeah, just a, a tough rotation there after getting caught, caught in the hot hands. Now we have a bit of a split here as they start making their way into the rope. Stax finds one, blind comes up, two gonna be coming up top. Now pressing their way over towards Mail. Zest instantly snapping onto Hashira's head, follows up for a second one as I'm ready, will go down. Now it's just the two last remaining members completely pinched. RB will scoop the final blooms. Bot getting a bit confused, almost explodes as RB drops down to its level. But turret spots them as they push out onto the rafters here. Hajar finds one on with a great headshot on the RB before the drop down. That breaks open the A site. Now it's a 2v4 attempted retake here from Vision Strikers. Han leveling the playing field just a bit more into their favor. No, for Zest. Try and see if he can get any more value out of this Spectre from his anti-eco gun. It got the job done. They won their first two. And the buy round is going to go in WGS exit. Favor to holding the angle here. Really want to make sure uh, just in case one goes down, they get the finish for sure. Because you can see there the breach is with a sliver of health left. Yeah. Holding on by a thread. Zest so just going to be chilling out and holding this angle. But with that Vandal and range, Han. Does get a nice little headshot. Not that it'll find anybody. Oh, knives out. Does manage to kill off one. Cloudburst comes through. Took a little bit of damage. XPP does finish off Zest. Great job leaving XPP back there to watch for the flanker. That is perfect positioning. They have a good assault. On to A. They don't like it enough, though. Ooh. Now they're trying to come over. Han gets one. Jing Boon going to pick up another. B site almost open, but RB with the knives out gets one. Can he find another? He's going to be looking for it. Needs to find two. XPP on the cross with the Phoenix. Does make his way to the side. Back angle approach from Hashira. Catches him off guard. Great lurking approach from the Rays. Wall up. Get that bomb plant right in the little cubby. And it all comes down to King. We saw a 1v3 clutch from him just yesterday on Haven. But given the HP bars, it seems like he might think better of this and go for the retreat. It's just a great job here by WGS. Now, you never know, the Killjoy King. The Rolling Thunder will come through. Manages to hit one. Stacks responding. Blinds go out. Curveball around the corner. They'll push forward. King instantly shutting down the run it back. Rez comes out on his stacks. So they get the punish instantly. Hasha in a good position to make sure that that gets absolutely no value. Spike now going to be planted. Low HP on King. They're completely pinned in. WGS is. This is going to be a tough one. They're going to have to really fight their way out of this. There is, but there's not really any siege. There's no raise here from Vision Strikers. They do not have a Brimstone, no Phoenix to try to, you know, throw Molotovs in, throw nades in to try to displace them. So they can kind of sit sheltered just turtle up at the base like yeah they might die from the spike explosion if this pressure can continue to be applied but that will result in a round win poke out from glow however he wants to finish this but looks the wrong way xpp strikes him down hashtag comes up with four on the round the right. idea is really smart exactly it's the ingenuity yeah well, now looking for the setup on to b Ashra lurking behind in sewer zest thinking that everybody had cleared out that's a huge pickup Ball around the side, fault line goes out to try and slow the approach. TP into the back here. As Dax picks up two of the frenzy, that's going to be good value. They do lose glow in the process. Spike now down in the back site. Looking for the follow up there, but Jibungi cannot get the second kill. King takes him out, claims his gun. Uh -oh. That's a nice one. Showstopper time, nobody Ooh, there. He does it that one. Yeah. There's RB from behind. <laughs> that's going to be a slight mistiming from Stax in that regard. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. 
Either way, King is there to pick up the pieces. Leap well into the back, but he's blinded. King, oh, looks over to the boom bot for just a second. That's when Han strikes. Stacks, however, redeeming himself. Does come up with three on the round. Now it's Han all in his lonesome stuck in the back of the site. In a 1v4 scenario, we'll see if he can do anything here to try to get himself out of this pit. Yeah, ropes is such a dangerous place for yeah, your opponent to be. Oh. RB gonna get the op, and the round falls into Vigil. Dude, GS to try to, you know, change their location is lost, and that hurts even more with Zest getting a really nice headshot. Yep, Flash is coming through. Stack's just gonna drop down. Zest continuing to clean him up. Look for that last one. Here comes Shing Boogie. However, from heaven, the savior of WGS. Plant coming in, and now it's going to be Glow approaching from the garage. Has a great angle on I ready. If he pokes right now, gets a couple shots in onto him. It's like, did they not realize where he was coming from? Oh, well, RB's on heaven either either way. Do just go ahead, exit through the alley. Taps the bomb once. Try to bait them in. Right click is going to be good. He gets dropped. Jibugi, headshot comes in. RB updrafting his way into heaven. Gets line of sight. Falls low, but he strikes just a little bit faster. Seven rounds now for Vision Strikers in the back of this defuse. Looking like it might be a, a rush play here onto A once this Nano Swarm is gone. Leap well into the back there from Hashira, but the, set, the turret is actually going to finish him off with the help of King. Blind out, Han jumps up in the air where the Judge does manage to find that kill. Ultimate still not going to be online though, so playing at range could still cost him. Nice stinger shots from XPP. Does manage to get rid of King, taking him out of that back of sight. The aftershock displaces him, and Zest is ready to scoop the kill. That's going to be the spike down. Rez is available to bring Glow back into the fray just to have that extra gun carried forward into the next round. And Jin Bungi still playing Lurker. Needs to try to pull off this 1v3 in a round, but he's also flashing every single approach that the enemy team is trying to do. Satchel Charge is going to be coming out. Push out of the smoke from Han. He's greeted with a headshot there from Glow. King tagged up, does manage to exit the showstopper, not going to be able to find anything. Glow now sitting above spots XPP for the moment, but does want to pull back. Gets the reload off, makes sure that the ramp approach is going to be clear. Pushing out of screens right now with this bomb, actually. God. Will make their way back over into the side. Jin Bungi coming in from behind, does manage to find Zest. King looking for the finish. Oh my God, this is a shot on the I'm ready. But Stax is there, cleans it. Everybody on this team is so darn smart. Well. With this 9-3 on that defense, they actually edge forward their win percentage just a little bit more. Push out, great. Little curveball coming through. Finds RB, press forward. That's going to hand a frenzy over to Han. But at the defensive side, ended up with 75% win rate. This attack, though, not going great. This is looking like a Vision Strikers pistol round. <laughs> oh, the poor Vision Strikers are so, so good in these pistol rounds. Zest trades. Ashira. It's not ready for the harsh angle shift. Nope. King now pressing forward. Yep, spotted out on. We'll get the finish very rapidly, so they want to try to reposition the bomb. Plant now going to be going into the back corner of the site. As Glow starts poking out, finds on great blind coming through from Stacks for the alley oop play. I'm ready. Holding down the ramp for now. As XPP and Hajra start advancing forward. Pushes the corner, finds the headshot. Looking great, but Stax cuts down too. Still going to be sitting here as Jinbungi comes around the corner. He gets a little bit of damage traded out between the two of them. Jinbungi does find the headshot. Now it's Glow. In an awkward position. Wants to stop the bomb plant. Finds one. Here's the approach. Needs a spray. Has it. Glow, the veteran player here. Will clear outward. Good shots from RB, backed up by King. They take down Han. Dashboard onto the A site. It's going to be a swift execution now coming through. TP in the back there from Glow. Rejoins him with the rest of his squad. XPP catching him off guard. Takes down Stacks. A huge kill for the Phoenix. Great little flank coming in from him. Spike. Yeah, they do manage to plant here in the default spot as Glow will just TP up to the top. I'm ready, clearing screens with the aftershock, but does he know that they've moved forward? Fault line will help push on the corner. However, King moves just a little bit quicker. This is looking like Vision Striker should be able to take another step closer towards victory. That's a big deal for Vision Strikers because it opens up crossfire angles into heaven. Glow around, gonna get one XPP down King. Absolutely on for them. Han. Dashing forward, looking for him. King pushes the corner, does not get traded by the judge from XPP. Managed to come out on top. 
Altorp here first for Zest, throws a heal out, then the spike will go down. There's the lockdown will come through, and there's not very much to clear this out. Obviously, no Sova, given the history of Split, not the most ideal agent that you could play, so they just have to wait this out. No one's going to be detained, but time is bought. Yep. RB chilling with the operator. Zest in the short. Back A. Oh, he almost has negative health right now. I'm ready. <laughs> Showstopper is out. Backside does get cleared. He's going to just probably let this Lucia over. Turns aside. Rolling Thunder will knock him off the bomb. Crucially, before he can get the halfway tap. A little bit of damage in. Dashing forward. Jin Bungi does manage to take down RB. 10 HP, though. Spray through stacks. In, like with what we've seen here in Korea. I mean, it's... <laughs> I've done the math, it seems to work out. It's, it's, it checks out. It's, yeah, it's a little a little bit of a struggle, but him and Han. Oh, and here's Han again. That patience, e. not there. That is not what you want to have happen. At least last time, you know, he burned the daggers, but he did make it out alive, came into heaven, managed to find some kills, but this time he is just going to be down and out. And that is absolutely a catastrophic loss for WGS, given the position that they're in. Yeah, exactly. Now they're really spread thin. They're trying to cover every single major artery on the map. Need to have some good shots here with the Spectre. He pushes out Jin Boogie. There's just too many. The overwhelming numbers crash into him like a tidal wave. Push forward now. I'm ready. Just inching back away as a judge. This is what really can I do from heaven right now? Yeah, you had two members of WGS coming down to ramps, expecting a re-rotate from the Vision Strikers. This is the tough part about the Vision Strikers. A lot of times they'll kill and make an entry. A lot of times they'll kill and re-wrap. It's just a lot of different ideas. It makes it so hard to plan against them, so therefore this retake is late. Yeah. Well, interesting wall sending that one down the way. Let's cover them just a little bit. Not sure, just gonna be spraying through. Let's see if he can recreate some of that magic push through. In the corner is Glow. He will scoop out. O2. That's gonna put them at the bottom of the standings. Indefinitely. Uh, in the first main event, where the first map was all that mattered. <laughs> yeah. Well, already a good start on the pistol round yet again for WGS. Looking good, coming up with two kills. Pressing forward, I'm ready. Looking for Glow. Will manage to get the headshot spray there. Finishes him off. Now, all on stacks and RP. A decent combo if you had to put money on who would be able to retake a site 2v5. It'd be these two. Yeah, but given the frenzies and the range that they're going to be playing with, it can prove to be a little bit difficult. A couple shots going to be coming through. I'm ready spotting RB as he will press forward into the showers. Dark cover going to be coming out. Fault line as well going to be used. Does not hit. Shots flying through. So far, it's only Khan that has taken damage on the side of WGS. He will find a nice headshot, follows in for a third kill. I have to reiter reiterate that it's not, uh, it's not the most uncommon occurrence by any means. Playing forward, a lot of attention being paid here to the showers. Glow waiting around the side, finds once, looking for a, a second, cannot get it. XPP will manage to exit. Great headshot. Snap on there from Jinbungi. Nine HP remaining for him. Two members oh, left, and oh, King's got the lineup with the classic back-to-back -back head. RB looking to get a bit saucy there. Maybe kind of expecting this push onto A. RB's just going to be pressing forward into Link, trying to get his way over to Short. King trying to get the transfer spray. Doesn't manage to do so. It's a little bit of damage onto I'm Ready. Be lobbing that shock dart around the corner, trying to find a hit. Follow-up kills now coming through his stacks and Glow. Both will get dropped over on the site. And it's going to be a 2v3 retake yet again. But they do not necessarily anticipate that RB is going to be creeping in from behind. He's already made his way all the way up short. But is he prepared for the U-Haul? Gets his way around the back. Spots one. Headshot lined up. Three, second peak comes in. That's the shutdown. Does he get three? Yes, he does. Get information before they have to pay for it. King. You know, gets one of the early kills, but... Blades out, blinds come through, RP throwing the daggers, but he cannot get the hits! Glow will manage to find one, as I'm ready, does go down. It was a nice set play here from the side of Vision Strikers, but they just do not execute it well enough. 
Drop down comes in. Jindungi trying the same thing. Stacks. Not going to get fooled again. Blind connects, but Han still finds the headshot with a Vandal. As the A side gets a little bit more open up. Shock Dart's going to be lobbed forward onto the ideal plant spot, but it's not going to happen. King found to get over to short, so he actually went to the A site. Now he's going to be slow creeping back into Hookah. Stacks takes the TP, so they know exactly where to anticipate somebody from. So RP says, okay, I don't need to be walking anymore. It's time to get ready and get in onto the site. Go clear. Cubby. The aftershock goes through. Wrap around coming out from the labs. It's there from Jin Bungi. He'll tap the bomb. One gets dropped. XP he's dead. Jin Bungi coming through. Finds one. Hunter's Fury. They try to cut off RB's avenues of approach. The TP coming through. He gets tapped. RB will finish him off. Rush has to come through. Shock Dart, or Recon rather, does land. He gets the headshot. Does he have the defuse? The answer is going to be yes. I think over on the A side. Boom bot. Clears the way through Hookah. King drops down. Makes his way into Cubby. Has the camp up. Spots one. Fault line. Does stun him. TP comes down onto the low ground. Jumping in is Hashira. King does manage to find the punish. Jinbungi trading that one straight back. Stacks will get rid of Han. As it is just an absolute bloodbath here at the point. Just one member left. RB on his lonesome with the operator. Does not have a blade storm. Does he actually want to try to play for this? If he gets one, he might. If he gets a kill here. Blast is going to go out. There's the peak with the omen. They get a little bit of damage onto him, and that should be yeah the retreat call Such coming in. So we'll just wait out the spike explosion. He said he might. He doesn't really need to. I think it's more imperative to save the operator. That money's a little more, a little more important. And then you can save that blade storm. Still got four more rounds, so plenty of opportunities. Well, <coughs> WGS, this will be them putting a fourth on the board, evening things up, making it seem more and more. Well, Zess is still going to be nearby. The dark cover should give them a better idea. That's why Stax is going to be leaving <laughs> RB alone at A. Cyber Cage is coming through, spraying out his king. Takes a little bit of damage, going to be down to 50% now. On, up on top of the box, looking for the headshot. Does manage to find stacks. A nice little angle, Bladestorm. Going to be thrown out. The right click does not connect, and he falls right into Zest's lap. Finishes him off. Pushes the corner. I'm ready. We'll take him out. Now it's RB and King against the world. King still going to be here on site. Gets pushed. Does fall down. 10 seconds remaining. The spike now getting planted. And RB just going to be pulling back with the operator, keeping that in his hands for the last round. Yep. It's the right decision by RB again. Still Blade Storm available if he really feels like going for it, but there's no reason to right now. Eh, economically, and there's still some rounds left in the half. There's no reason to burn through the cash. And just good job here uh, by WGS. They're patient this time. They talk it out how they want to breach it. They find two uh, right by the spawn doors. Another one right on the site. It's just uh, well executed. They were... Very patient that time, and Vision Strikers had to respect it because they could have gone either way at that point. Vision Strikers had no information. On Operator out. Doesn't go in for the blind shot. Flashes are going to be prepared. Bladestorm is going to be used. Throws at the right click. Does not hit. Stax does come in, however. Not fast enough to save his life, but fast enough to capitalize on those two kills. Jin Bungi TPing again up to heaven through that smoke. As Hashira does take down Glow. The A site. Decently broken open here. Shot comes in. Ooh, great snap onto his head. Stacks will get rid of I'm ready. And they should know that both remaining members are basically going to be in the showers at the moment. I'm feeling a Stacks ace. We'll see if he can do it. He is holding the angle for the moment. Ooh, shot's coming in. Does get clipped in the arm. We'll go ahead and pull back. Seems like he wants to have... Uh, his teammate participates, so he and Zest will push the corner. Oh, but it's not going to work out at all. What? How? One and one. They're both flash. Suddenly, it's just going to be King by himself, and Jin Boogie has the shot. And for Han, trying to hold the corner, wants to pull back. Is it out safe? RB creeping around from behind. Right up close and personal is Glow. RB gets his way into U-Haul. They take them down. There's still two members at B right now from WGS as the spike gets planted. They'll take the teleporter across. Glow already in a bit of a position to try to capitalize if they decide to come up short. Looks like both will move into the showers. Yeah, that's really smart by Glow, seeing if anybody is going to be trying to create another angle. They don't. 
They have to use the boom bot early to check showers. Nobody in there. That means they know they're in U-Haul. So going to put the paint shells in the back. Zest going to try to counter. He's at Nate over the top. The God Bolt will get destroyed. It's going to be Jin Boongi taken down. Hashira does manage to find Zest. He'll push the corner, and that will just be... Point. The sound cue is probably available, and uh, oh, oh, king, king, king! Oh man, okay, just sprays his way to success. Does fall low. Now they're on the hunt. Three members chasing forward. Cyber Cage going to be chucked out. Dash forward does come through, and Han will have the kill in the back of the blind. But now here's Glow with the crossfire sets up for two. Might be looking for a little bit more. And now, as you can see, uh, we've inverted the map. It's going to be Han. <laughs> And I'm ready, playing from the attacker side, looking to retake their bomb site. Well, you made a great point earlier that anytime one of the Vision Strikers gets caught out, the other ones are always there to try to help right never away. Never alone. They're never alone, and that is what Glow is so special at. He's got a great spot for himself with that Bulldog in this particular situation since it's the anti-eco. He's got the long uh, sight line. Stax gets one. Still one more around the corner, sprays it down, RB is going to pick. It might not have a, a couple tweaks, but we'll, we'll see what happens. Bucky up close, Asher though, completely blind, doesn't know when to pull the trigger. It does get taken down, Jin Bungi finds one in exchange, his RB will fall. But sight going to be broken open, spike going to be planted here. These two make their way into elbow. Yeah, they ever so desperately want to retake control of this. Glow is not ready for the Bucky from I Am Ready. Stacks, Free Fire is now rotating back over to B Long. A nice pickup. Makes this a 3v3. Drone going forward just to see if anybody has moved out. Won't spot anything. Well, they've got Elbow. Will it be oh. fast enough? Okay, well, Dash Forward does come through from Han. Gets himself out of Hookah right as Stacks is arriving. Wrapping around behind him. Shock Dart is great. Han goes down here in Garden. Last one standing is XP Bait. Hashira just going to be sat on short. Not too much that he can do given his HP bar. And will absolutely require backup from I'm ready. But 2v3, it seems like, yeah, they just want to hold on to what they have. There's not really a great opportunity for the Hunter's Fury well, just yet. Don't. Well, okay. no, there's no reason to hang on to the Spectre anyway. Well, I know that one's there. Great operator. This is why I thought maybe they were going to try to save. They have this in their hands. But they do manage to pick up a Phantom for Hashira, so let's see what he can get done. Everybody's just going to be hiding, not going to be revealing themselves unless they absolutely must. Tap on the bomb. There's a quick peek. RB doesn't need a headshot to finish him off. Out in front. I'm ready. Weakened equipment here. Their part, he's gonna go for the Honor's Fury with that. This is the first shot, this is the second, this is the third. Jin Bungi, in the meantime, finds King. It's like King was pushing out of Hookah by himself. And it does get taken down. Yeah, no opportunity for Vision Strikers to try to use that as a fake. And there's just, they're just not in any position right now uh, to go off that. But RB's going to make the entry. Gets right on into you all. Zest playing forward. Han taken down. He was the one playing directly on side. It's a TP over into heaven from Jin Bungi. 4v4 for the attempted retake with WGS's hopes on the line. Vision Strikers. They can close this out. That's going to be a 2-0 delivered to WGS. Meaning that they will finish out today with no points. And it doesn't look good. No. I'm ready and Hashira both <laughs> taken <laughs> down Jin Bungi. And XPP, the final hopes. Rolling Thunder, crashing through. Glow finds Jin Bungi. It's all on XPP. He's blind, he's dead. 